Welcome to Shift with CJ. I'm your host CJ and together we will explore the areas of health, human performance, biohacking, psychology and much more that will inspire you to become the best version of yourself. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Shift with CJ podcast. Today we're shifting gears a bit. We're taking a break from biohacking to talk about something just as important, life itself. I've come across some interesting concepts this week and I just had to share them with you. These ideas are about understanding happiness, success and how we live our lives. Let's dive in and see how we can make these ideas a part of our everyday lives. Oh, and before we get started, I don't want you to think I've turned into a teacher or a guru. I'm just really obsessed with ideas that can make a big impact on our lives and our environment. So, enjoy the episode and let me know if you like this kind of content so I can make more. One, you can't predict what will make you happy. Here's the thing. Your brain can only imagine what it has already known when you think about what you want in the future. You're just recycling ideas from the past. When things don't turn out the way you expected, you might think you failed, but in reality, you might have created something better, just different. Your brain sometimes sees different as bad because it's unfamiliar. Moral of the story, living in the moment isn't just for the Zen masters. It's the best way to live a life that's real and free from illusions. It's the only thing your brain can actually understand. Here is what you can do. Practice mindfulness. Try to stay present in the moment. Use techniques like deep breathing or meditation to help you write down things you're grateful for each day. It helps you focus on the present. Try new things. Don't be afraid to try new activities without expecting them to be perfect. Be open to new experiences. 2. Success isn't a place you arrive at. We often think that success is a destination we reach when we achieve our goals. We look at our lives and wonder if we're there yet. This makes us feel like we're always missing something. Remember, everything is temporary and no single moment can define your entire life. There's no final destination. The only thing we're heading towards is the end. Success isn't about finishing things. It's about growing along the way. Moral of the story, focus on the journey, not just the destination. Life is about growth and experiences, not just ticking off goals. Here is what you can do. Celebrate small wins. Take time to acknowledge and celebrate even the small steps you make. Reflect on growth. Regularly think about how you've grown and what you've learned, not just what you've achieved. Set process goals. Instead of just focusing on end goals like losing weight, set goals for the process like exercising regularly. Three, fear and pain aren't always bad. When you're about to do something you truly care about, you might feel scared or uncomfortable. That's because it makes you vulnerable. Bad feelings aren't always signs to stop. Sometimes they mean you're doing something important and worthwhile. If you didn't care, you'd feel indifferent. Fear shows you're interested. Moral of the story? Don't run away from fear and pain. They're often signs that you're on the right path. Here's what you can do. Face your fears. List the things you're afraid of but want to try. Start with the least scary and work your way up. Reframe pain. See pain as a sign of growth instead of something to avoid. Seek discomfort. Go and push yourself out of your comfort zone in small manageable ways. 4. Stop creating problems to avoid living life. Sometimes we create drama and problems in our lives to avoid facing our true desires and fears. This distraction keeps us from being vulnerable or accountable. At the core, it's just fear of being ourselves and living the life we want. Moral of the story, stop creating unnecessary problems. Face your fears and start living the life you truly want. Here's what you can do. Identify distractions. Notice when you are creating drama in your life. Ask yourself what you're avoiding. Take small steps. Start making small steps towards the life you want. It's okay to begin small. Seek accountability. Find a friend or mentor to help keep you accountable for the changes you want to make. 5. Beliefs change through experiences, not just thoughts. Beliefs are what you know to be true because you've experienced them. If you want to change your life, you need to change your beliefs. And to change your beliefs, you need experiences that make these new beliefs real for you. Moral of the story, if you want to change your beliefs, seek out new experiences that support those beliefs. 
here's what you can do. Experiment, try new activities or environments that align with the beliefs you want to adopt. Reflect on experiences. After trying something new, think about how it changes your perspective. Surround yourself with positivity. Engage with people and environments that reinforce the beliefs you want to cultivate. Life is an incredible journey filled with lessons and growth. By understanding these concepts and applying them, we can live more fulfilling and authentic lives. Remember, it's not just about reaching a destination, but embracing the process and expanding along the way. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Shift with CJ. I hope you found these ideas helpful and inspiring. Till next time, stay curious, stay present, and keep shifting towards a better you. This is CJ, signing off. Take care. Your time and presence with us through this podcast is highly appreciated. If you want to learn more, then head over to our website, www.shiftwithcj.com.